In another lesson, we introduced BRES as the third dot in the loop. Indeed, BRES, DSLAM, and the DSL modem are the three dots that make up the DSL subscriber local loop. The BRES is the last network element after the DSL modem and DSLAM that manages data transmissions per subscriber local loop. Beyond the BRES and towards the communication service provider's network, the data from all subscriber local loops are aggregated onto a single stream of data. This aggregation is needed to route the single stream of data onto provider edge routers over high-speed links. This over here is the high-speed link that we're talking about. And that box over here is the provider edge router. This portion over here can be considered as the edge of the service provider network. The provider edge routers are like gateways into the communication service providers network that ultimately connects to the internet. The internet is a worldwide network. A worldwide web browsing request originates from a customer's computer connected via the DSL local loop. The request traverses the network path via DSL modem, the DSLAM, the BRAS, and ultimately rides the single stream of data to the provider edge router of the internet service provider company to whom the customer has subscribed. Many times the customer's request is destined for a web server that is located in another country and not where the customer is situated. The customer's request must then traverse the internet across countries and possibly continents to reach that web server. Internet service providers across countries must cooperate to facilitate this. To do this, each portion of the internet that is managed by an internet service provider is named an autonomous system or AS. Autonomous systems communicate with each other using an appropriate exterior gateway protocol such as border gateway protocol or BGP. BGP allows for exchange of network paths related information pertaining to each AS. Thus, ASs that are assigned to internet service providers around the world are able to provide network paths between a web server in any part of the world and customers across the DSL loop. ASs are organized as tiers. We will cover the purpose of tiers in another lesson where we take a more detailed look at a typical topology of the network that connects a DSL customer's home or office through the central office or CO and the internet service providers network all the way to the internet.